a transformation office is essential to ensuring um, that the transformation delivers. And that's in the context of making sure uh, that everyone does what they said they were going to do. A lot of times, um, companies will talk about a PMO, and to me a PMO has, is almost a bad word, right? It has a bad connotation, because it often signifies a focus on activity as opposed to results. And the transformation office is looking all the way from, you know, what were the activities that were supposed to get done, which you often see in a PMO, but then taking the step of how does that translate into the operational metrics, and then how does that translate into the financials, while also keeping a sense of, of health in addition to performance. Um, so it's tracking, but it's tracking from activity to result, and doing that in the context of, of removing roadblocks. A lot of times, particularly in large companies, like there's all these reasons in a heavily matrix organization of why things drag. Um, and what it, why it's hard for initiatives to be implemented, particularly when you get to the mid-levels of the organization. And a, a well-functioning transformation office just cuts right through that and makes the decision and pushes the decision to get made in the room you know, that day as opposed to you know, kicking the can to the next meeting or saying you gotta go talk to these four or five people you know, to, get, to get the appropriate sign-off.